Hello Floss Tubers. I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and this is July the 17th 2021 Floss Tube number 37 and it's mostly all about Christmas in July or Jolly July. <clears throat> Been doing a lot of Christmas stitching. So welcome, welcome to everyone and if you've never watched my Floss Tube before this is a Floss Tube about cross stitch and just about only cross stitch. Um, every now and then I may pop in something but not usually. Um, I would just like to welcome everyone back, uh, my previous subscribers, and uh, I just thank you for just keep coming back. I mean, it's just amazing to me that people just keep watching and, and everybody seems to enjoy, most everybody, I guess. I can't please everybody, I'm sure, but um, most everybody seems to enjoy my videos, and um, I just really appreciate that. I love to share my cross stitch and I'm just all over the place. <laughs> so anyway, um, and I've been cross stitching for a long time, as most of you know. And um, I also would like to thank you, everyone that's commented. I'm still getting comments about prayers for my surgery that I had, and I'm doing much, much better. And I've started PT, and I'm doing pretty good with that, but it's, it's a little rough. But Anyway, thank you so, so much. And for the cards and the flowers and the balloons and, oh my goodness, and the stitching stuff too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, now what are we going to talk about today besides Christmas? Well, I have some past FFOs as usual, and we'll have some July things mixed in here also because this is July. And uh, I have a couple of free patterns to offer. One, though, is kind of not free. It's semi-free. The pattern's free, but you have to buy the buttons. But it's really cute. So anyway, um, then we've got some finishes. I have some FFOs. Um, not finishes, but I have FFOs. And what is an FFO? It's a finely finished object or a fully finished object. For me, it's finely finished because it just kind of lays around for a while and... Yeah, then I get it done. But anyway, um, <clears throat> then I've got a couple of uh, kind of comments on some uh, comments and questions I had. And we've got some whips. We've got some um, sows that I'm doing because, you know, I love to do sows. And I've got some haul, which some of it I forgot to show last week. Mm, yeah. But anyway, and then uh, we'll talk about my plans. But who knows what they could be. <laughs> so anyway, we'll start out with, um, well, there it is. Okay, we'll start out with Pine Mountain. Um, <clears throat> you know, Pine Mountain, they used to make a lot of pillow designs. Sorry, I'm looking for my other pillow and it's just like vanished. Oh, there it is. You know, when you have too much on your table, it's kind of hard. And this one is no longer available. And you'll know because it looks kind of dated. But it was like a four season four square. And it's on Ada, 14 count Ada. And it was a great carry along project. You could just throw it in your uh, bag and and put a little pair of scissors in there and just do it in hand or on a hoop, either one. It was just great. But um, I enjoyed doing this one and I really liked the basket button. I just thought that was just so cute. That was the main reason I bought the pattern years and years ago. This is an oldie but a goodie and it came complete with everything except for the floss. And all I had to do was iron it, tuck it in, and poof, instant finish. Okay, next from Pine Mountain, and this one's also not available, and I do apologize. You might could find them on Etsy, not Etsy, uh, eBay. This one's America the Beautiful, and I thought this was very fitting for this month. It had the little star button, and it was a quick stitch on 14 count Ada. And this is like a beige. I would say now we'd probably call this uh, Beautiful Beige. And it was also a kit with everything except for the floss. And when I finished it, and both of them on 14 count Ada, and I used two strands of floss over one thread. And those were very quick. Okay, next, um, you know, everybody knows I love Lizzie K. And I did do more than just Pine Mountain and Lizzie K. I do stitch a lot more than that. I'm... I'm a very varied stitcher, but I've just been showing my past things when I stitched mostly just Lizzie Kate and Pine Mountain. Okay, the next thing is a 4th of July Flip It, and this one's on 28 count um, raw linen, I guess, or dirty linen. And I used uh, DMC flosses and 
the little border that's in the gold, you can just barely see right there. And then I just found this frame in the little uh, grab basket one time at Sandy's Cross Stitch on the go. And of course she doesn't have that little grab basket anymore. I guess the little framer quit putting stuff out there, but that's in Hendersonville, uh, North Carolina. And it's just really fun. It was two over two. And I really enjoyed doing that. This was kind of fun to do because it was very festive. So I enjoyed that one. All right, next from uh, Lizzie Kate also. And you can get these Lizzie Kate patterns from one, two, three stitch. But first, before you check with them, check with your local needlework shop. Or if you don't have a local needlework shop, call a local needlework shop because some of them have lots of patterns. Um, I know that um, some some stores I've been in don't have any, and other stores, they have quite a bit. I know Pandas Crossing has a good selection, and several other stores I've been in have a good selection also. This is um, July Flip It, and this was one of the first Flip It's that they had. And this is what got me started on the Lizzie K Do Everything by the Month Trail. And I really enjoyed the border with all the cross stitches and the big X's at the corner were over four threads. But I still used um, two threads for everything and it's on 28 count. And I did use sampler threads on this one and some DMC floss. And yet another little uh, frame that I just pop in and pop out. And this was in my early framing days when I didn't get everything really even because it's a little wider over here. Just notice that after all these years. Okay, so then <clears throat> the next thing we have is from the Trilogy. And I do not have the patterns to most of these oldies but goodies anymore. But I did find, if I can remember where I put the darn thing. Um, oh, no, that's not it. Well, oh, there it is. I laid it over here. Okay, I don't have the original pattern, but I do have this one. The patterns look like this. It was uh, tall trios, okay? And they had like Christmas which is what this one is. Uh, it's a kit. And uh, I got this one on clearance. So that was great. And it had all the floss, the, the fabric, uh, needle, charms, everything. And this one was either USA or July 4th. And I did this one on 32 count. And it says, Long May It Wave down here at the bottom. And we've got our star and heart charm. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, that is so pretty. And I think this was my first endeavor on 32 counts. And I used two strands over two. And I used the included floss, which most of the time they included Weak Style Works flosses. So I would say these are probably Weak Style Works. And I had a Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I had them frame this. They did a really good job. And see, they finish on the back. But um, just really, really a nice stitch. And it was fun. And every time I fi finished a square, I was like, oh, a finish. Yay! So <laughs> I enjoyed that. All right. Next, hopefully you'll see this one these days. But not this month. It's not in the thing. Okay, next, get ready for your free pattern. It's also a past FFO that I have. Oops, I better, like, get the dog hair off of it. Mm, goodness, and the thread. This one's called Flip Flop Days. And if you go to Just Another Button Company or jabco.com, you can pull this up on their website. I saw it and I pulled mine out and I thought, oh, this is just so perfect. But if you buy the buttons and they're not that expensive for all the little Flip Flop Beach and B buttons, and there's a, oh, there's a little seagull here. Um, anyway, and this is a very, very quick stitch, and I did use the call for, um, fabric, and it's probably 28 count, and I have no clue who the fabric was from, because I do not have the pattern anymore, and I hate to say, but I was too lazy to, uh, look on the website to see. But anyway, this one's on there. You could use pretty much any color you wanted to. But I just thought the little yellow frame just made it real happy. 
And this is going to one of my children. They just don't know it yet. And most of them don't watch my videos anyway, so it's like, well. And I use two strands over two. And I can't, I want to say this one either used General Arts or Week Style Works, but I'm not sure which. So I'll have to just say, not really sure. But I don't think they used DMC. And whatever they used, call for is what I used. Because, you know, that was in the days of like, oh, I just got to do it that way. So there's that. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, where am I going to put this? Okay, let's put it right there. So that's a free pattern. Just go to www.jabco.com and look under freebies. Okay. Um, next, um, I want to talk about um, another free pattern. This one's from Stony Creek. And I'm so sorry I forgot to remind everybody about it last month. But I was in a lot of pain. And it was just an effort to get to work and, and do what I needed to do. So, therefore, I just did, you know, the absolute have to thing. But anyway, they have the uh, hometown Halloween. And it's they had, you know, in uh, May, yeah, it was May, I showed you this one. It was one of four patterns. Because they had the Pattern of the Month series. And it kind of gives you an idea of what they look like. Well, you can do it as a banner or you can do the little houses separate. Okay. This is May. This is June. And this is this month's July. If you order it from Stony Creek, all you have to do is pay the postage. It's free. And that's next month's. And you don't have to get them all. You can get one or you can get all of them. But I love Halloween, so I decided I would get them all. Now, this one does have a few um, French knots, and it uses Creek's Colors, hand-dyed floss, which I've never used, but you can get it from uh, Stony Creek. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to just match up what I have. It also uses Glisten Gloss, which from my understanding is like rainbow blending thread. Um, and it's got little buttons. They have the buttons available if you want to do it. And they show it done on Ada, 14, 16, 18 count. And, but they stitched their model on 28 count Vintage Stormy Night Lugana over two threads. That's what color this is. So, I saw this. And this is, a uh, picture this plus Cashel 28 count linen. And it's hand dyed J. And I just had to have this. I just thought this would be just perfect for it. So I got that because I'm not a big Lugana fan. Um, I'll stitch on it, but, eh, you know. And then I ordered one of the little button packs. Here we go. Right there. That's one of the little button packs. Now, I was supposed to have June and July by now, but they've not gotten here yet. So, um... Hopefully, I'll show you them when they arrive. But anyway, be sure and go get your free pattern on Stony Creek. Go to www.stonycreek.com, and you'll go under free patterns. Now, they also have more free patterns, and I saw this one just today when I was checking. This is just the cutest little pattern I've ever seen. It's an ornament chart, and it's called Bat Crazy. Look at that. Is that not too cute? And you can get both things free because I've done it before just to see if you could do it. This one is going to be on my order. I usually order something else because, you know, it can't travel alone. What I usually do is I'll order the buttons or the fabric or another pattern or chart or something to go with it just to make it worth, you know, paying the postage. But is that not just adorable? He is too, too cute. I could just see him done on purple. Mm, just too cute. Or maybe even orange. But anyway, that's Stony Creek. So that's your um, free patterns for today. So that gives you three if you take advantage of all three. The flip-flops, the um, bat crazy, and then the Halloween pattern. And for those of you that don't like Halloween, you have flip-flops. So you can enjoy that. All right. Now, um... 
The next thing I want to talk about is, and I'm going to go back to past finishes in a way, I watched Two Tall Stitchers. If you've not watched them, you need to go on and watch them. Now, they're cross stitchers, but they're also quilters. Oh my goodness, they start out every video with this beautiful quilt in the background behind them. And it's a mother-daughter. And um, they really do some beautiful things. And they do some pieces that you just, cross-stitch pieces that, you know, you know, you'll watch one floss tube and it's like, well, we're doing this pattern. Well, you go over here, they're doing the same pattern. And I like to see a lot of different things. So, not saying that I don't like to see everybody's. I do. But sometimes it's nice to see something different, you know, for a change. And... So what they're going to do is they're going to stitch a Biscornu in August because they've never stitched a Biscornu. So I went to a class um, at uh, Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill, South Carolina, several years ago. And it was uh, the designer, Clara, yeah, anyway, she's with the stitching parlor. She was in charge of um, the design. And she said, we're going to stitch a Biscornu. And I was like, what is that? And this is my Biscornu, the little squirrels. This is the top. And then I was very upset when I found out I had to stitch the same thing over again on the bottom. So this is the bottom. So it laid for a while. And then I've got the two buttons where I sewed it together. And look at the edges. And this looks very hard, but trust me, it's easy. It is. You just do your back stitches and you just sew in your, you know, you sew those together there and line it up. You just have to be very careful counting, but you can fudge it if you don't. We also did this bookmark and mine's not fully finished because you have to ravel it out. And I hate, hate, hate to do that. And that's my last, that's my initial for my last name. And it matches our Biscornu. And I told her I had a Lizzie Kate Biscornu. It's called Hoot, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I went down a rabbit trail trying to find it so I could show it so they could see it on my video today and other people could see it. It's here somewhere, but where? I just got so disgusted I quit looking. But anyway, hopefully I'll find Hoot and we'll be able to stitch that with the two tall stitchers. And their uh, hashtag is going to be hashtag... Biscornu Sal. Biscornu Sal. And I'll link that below also. And if you haven't checked out their video, be sure and check it out. Um, let's see. Um, okay. I think that's it for that. All right. Now, I have a finish. I mean, not a finish. I have an FFO. Now, this is an old FFO. And I've had it... I've had part of it done and you've seen part of it. The only thing is, is I got the magnets and the washers like Priscilla and Chelsea do on Stitching with the Housewives. And I bought the wrong kind of washers because they don't stick to the magnet. So if somebody would please advise me, I know the steel stainless steel ones do not stick. So what in the world do I need to get and where in the world can I find them? Because I ordered mine from Amazon and that was not good. So anyway, I showed you, I went to the Leela May Designs uh, retreat this past spring, I guess. And, oh goodness, and it's not on here, so um, I'm just going to have to hold it. And we did Chick's Garden, and then she gave us this free pattern on the farm. And I just finished it. And this is an exclusive pattern, and it will be out next year from Priscilla and Chelsea. And this was a fun stitch, and she showed us how to finish it, and gluing, and everything. And we, she showed us how to do the flowers and all that. And this is crooked, but anyway, when I do get it stuck on here with magnets, I will be showing you because she said we would be using this again. And I can't remember where this came from, but I know it was something to do with Jennifer's family or something, her sister or something. I'll have to check on that and let you know. Um. But something I did learn that I got from Amazon, and this is a crafty little helper thing. I'm just jumping all over the place tonight. Okay, the glue gun is not my friend, okay? 
my friends are just chuckling because the, me and glue just do not get it. Elmer's glue, eh, you know, any kind of glue. Well, I found this glue gun and, and then I saw this little mat. Best little thing ever. Got it at, was it Joann's? Or was, I think it was Joann's was where I got it. And I got this Sure Bonder um, glue gun. It's a pretty good glue gun. But then at Amazon, I found these little finger caught things. Now, I put one on and I burnt my finger. So I double mine up and then I just dab with the glue really fast. And it's not too bad. You just have to remember, don't stick your finger on there. Usually I put one on each finger and I'm just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing down. But um, they come in like packs of 10 or 20 and they're really neat. So that is my little crafty item for today. And they're, they're like um, finger cots for gluing. So look that up on Amazon. And you'll have them in two days if you're lucky. All right, if you have Amazon Prime. Okay, let's get on to our whips. Oh, no, I'm still not ready. I have another finish. Darn. Okay, you know, this month uh, I had said on my whip go board, and whip go are work, whips are works in progress. The whip go board is, a, is just a device to help us um, finish our projects. And so you list all your projects out like on this bingo card thing. And she, Jessie Marie, on our Facebook group, calls out um, numbers. So she called out numbers 2 and 12 this month. So I'd already finished my Kringle. What I, not finished, finished, but I set my goal and I met my goal already before the month started. So, yes. And then I did the monthly Orny sale, you know, on Instagram. And so I thought, ooh, I can double dip because I'll do my Christmas ornament because the other one just happened to be 12 Days of Christmas Whimsy. And I said, oh, I'm going to finish 10, 11, and 12. Well, I finished number 10 in two days, and I FFO'd it. It's 10 Lords of Leaping, and I love that little frog. He is just too cute. This is a pattern by Just Nan. I guess I could show you the pattern. This is 12 days of Christmas whimsy. There's days um, six, well, I did it backwards, six through 12. And here's one through six. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I just loved the little frames. And I was looking at the little things when I got these. 2006, okay, people? That's how long this has been sitting around, waiting on me to do it. And I would get one little frame every time I would go shopping. And I would get the little frame it had. And this one's got the cute little candy cane. And as far as I know, you cannot find these frames anywhere. Because I have one more thing that I want to put in a frame that's kind of cutesy like this. And I can't find one. So if anybody knows where I can find one of these cute little Just Nan frames, preferably red or um, I'll even take green, you know, or even... Well, I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, this is cute. I would do this one. Okay. This is on 32 count. Um, I think it's like two and a half by two and a half or two by two. And it's two threads over two. And it uses DMC and chronic um, threads. I use the purple and gold in that. And then I took uh, some little ribbon I bought at... Um, Michaels and I just tied a little bow and I'm gonna put a little hook on it and hang it on my tree Then I had said I was going to finish three of them. So I did number 11 Oh, and I can't remember 11 poppers popping that's it hmm. When you get on these things, you know, you just kind of forget things <laughs> But anyway, I thought the little snow lady was cute with a little red bird and I guess that's a crow and yes they do have legs this time there you go maybe you can see them now these are very easy to frame I just put um yeah fusible behind it and ironed that on and cut it out to the size of the little piece of cardboard in there and they've got little velvet velveteen backs and I mean you can't get any easier than that then number 12 was uh, 12 drummers drumming. First, I thought that was a mouse, but then I noticed it had a white tail. It's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> and uh, I just thought that was just really cute. And this one stitched up really quick. So I got him done and then got this finally finished. And in case you join my videos later, 
everybody's going, well, we haven't seen the other nine. So this is, oh, let's start with one. I can't stand it. Okay, here's a partridge in a pear tree. And the frame is purple. All right. Then we've got, uh, no, that's a swan. I should have put these in order. You know, that would have been the logical thing to do. But am I logical? No. Two turtle doves. No. Two French hens. Excuse me. I need to learn this song again. <laughs> okay. Two French hens. Okay. And then we have... No. Two calling birds, three French hens. I'm not even going to say what they are, okay? Because now I'm showing that I'm just really not with it today. All right, so there's my three little French hens. Okay. And there's number four. And it's crooked, so all you got to do is just slide it around like that. So it looks better. Okay, and I do know this one's five gold rings. This was the most tedious because it was mostly all in chronic. The metallic thread and I, well, sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. That day I did not, so. Okay, uh, six geese laying, oops. Get over there. There's the six geese. And all these are two over two. Seven swans of swimming. Eight maids of milking. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, let me take that string off. I thought, why is that back stitch right there? But that was a stray thread. Okay. And then, I think this was nine ladies dancing. I thought that was very cute. And then 10, 11, and 12. So there you go. So that was, um, I had all those other ones finished. So don't think I just went crazy and just went finishing everything. I finished other things that I didn't get. They're not totally finished. Um, we had issues. And so I just got disgusted and stopped. I guess finishing is kind of like my sewing machine. Um, Sometimes you're good, and sometimes it's not a good time to do it. So after so long, it just goes, you know, and we're done. All right. So then let's move on to, um, okay, that was my whip go. So I've got that one. That block is done. So um, when I do my whip go update, we'll mark that out. Still don't have bingo yet. Um, my sows. And those are stitch-alongs. Okay, the newest one I'm doing is Jingle Jolly Joy. And I got Clue 3. And isn't it just too cute? This is by Luminous Fiber Arts. I've really, really enjoyed stitching this. It goes really quick. And But there was just one little problem. I had a whole bunch of fabric this size. I thought, Oh, yeah, this will be fine, you know. And I kind of guesstimated and stuff. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be really good. Well, guess what? It's not. Because I started down too far. So, what I'm going to do is, and I didn't iron this week, people. I am so, so sorry. But, you know, standing at the ironing board after I've done all the physical therapy and all that other stuff, it's not happening. Yeah. And it was bad enough just doing the... um finishing that I had to do and do that. So I'm, I'm done. But this is my wrinkled finish. Now this is my Jingle Jolly Joy. I did this one. Um, yeah, I did. <sighs> we stitched for the weekend. Yeah. 
And so I stitched on this and I got this done. Um, is it 24 hours of cross stitch? No, it was whip go weekend. That's it. Whip go weekend. Cause 24 hours of cross stitch isn't yet. It just happens four times a year. But anyway, this was whip go weekend. So I said I was going to finish this one. Since I already finished Kringle, I thought, well, I better stick something else in there. Um, and I didn't want to do any more Kringle. So I did this one and got it finished and I got my uh, Christmas Whimsy finished. So I did great on my whip go weekend and met my goals. And then clue number two came out. So I've got this much done. I'm in mean, clue number three. I've got this much done of the Santa Claus. And that's at one sitting. So this is two over two. And this is on 32 count mystery linen that's transparent looking. It's it's uh, not too bad, but um it's it's very stiff very stiff but it, if you notice it does kind of loosen up just a little bit once you get it on you know and work with it a little bit but I just thought these were really cute and she's just really really done a fabulous job designing this and I love I'm loving this mystery sound and there's one more part and it will come out soon um let's see if I got when it is of course, I didn't bring that page up here. Hmm, well, but it uses um, DMC flosses, some classic color works, which I didn't have a one. So I had to get my friend to pick me some up when she was at Fire Poppies uh, because I couldn't drive at the time. So I thought, hmm, yeah, I just was able to start driving this week. I started midweek. Yay! I don't go very far, but I do get to get out now. I don't feel like a prisoner. So that's a good thing. Okay, so that's my first one. And that's hashtag Jingle Jolly Joy. Okay, the next one is, don't know, it's a mystery thing. Let's see, oh yeah, this is a new start. And this is from Waxing Moon and it's called Merry Musings. And it's got two charts, it's got, Life is short. Drink the eggnog. Eat the cookies. I just want to stitch and watch Christmas movies. Okay. Now, I have the fabric in here for both. And this fabric is another, yeah, it's another mystery fabric because I had this in my stash also. And I do not know what it was. And I'm using DMC and... Yeah, Week Style Works. Just using what I had because you know, when you're homebound, you can't do very much except beg off your friends. And I just hate to say, Oh, go get me this, go get me this. So I thought, Well, you know, I like the cocoa, and I thought the little gingerbread man was just really cute. So I'm gonna do him. So this one's on 28 count, and I'm doing two threads over two. And this is how much I got done at my first sitting. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to outline the cup, the mug, or not. It shows up pretty good on the um, fabric, but I may outline it with that little light gray. Look in the beaver. Um, it was like 647. So, I'm really enjoying stitching this one. And I just thought that... Um, it was just, it was just too cute. I can't wait till I get to the gingerbread man and uh, there's snowflakes and wreaths up here. That's a wreath and then there's a snowflake and you can't hardly see, there you can see the snowflake now. So I don't know, it shows up on here if you're looking at it, but on the camera, it just, it's just not all that. And don't you just love my wrinkly fabric? Mm, yeah. But anyway, the pattern is large, it's easy to read. And uh, I enjoy waxing moon designs. <clears throat> and I like it because it's bright and it's happy. So that's always fun. Now, I probably won't have a finish on that, but you never can tell. I'm just kind of stitching what just comes natural. Okay, the next thing I have is a stitching from the housewives pattern. And this is Santa Claus is coming to town. And it's on black. And... Uh, 
I noticed I had several things on black and I was like, ooh, you know, I mean, I don't mind stitching on black, don't get me wrong, but there's certain times of the day and depends which fabric I've got, if I've got the chalkboard or if I've got the black. And this one, you know, whether I can see it real well or not, because I think I need to go get some new glasses. But, you know, there you go. And if y'all notice, there's always a needle sticking in my stuff. When I sit down, it's like my needle better be threaded and I better be ready to stitch. I don't have time to waste finding what color I'm on and blah, 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 all that. But this one is, um, it uses Classic Color Works Floss. Um, it's about five by seven, stitch count 70 by 95. And this is on 28 count black even weave from Fat Quarter Shop. And it has, it uses two bamboo, um, two strands of, I mean, two skeins of bamboo. And so what I did was uh, I got the little bells stitched and the little, um, uh, red checks up at the top and I need to fill that in with a little bamboo but I got a fair amount done on that one so that one's good and this one's uh two strands over two on the black and I usually do this one during the day and early evening and then when it gets late at night I'm like eh, let's switch to a light color that's why I started the life is short drink the eggnog because I just wanted something else to look at. And I was all in the Christmas mode this week. So, um, all I stitched was Christmas stuff. That was it. Nothing else. And I said I was going to start my little bee thing. Didn't do that. I'm going to finish my other little bee thing. Didn't do that. I am so wishy-washy. But, you know, it makes me happy to do what I do. So, there you go. All right, and the next thing is also on black, and it's to all a, and to all a good night. When I saw this pattern, I was like, oh my gosh, gotta have it. I mean, you talk about ordering this pattern really quick. I did. I think I even pre-ordered it. But this is also by Stitching with the Housewives. <clears throat> I just love Santa Claus sailing across the sky. And this pattern is in color, which most of theirs are. And I got to where I was stitching, and the reason I called my friend, I said, I have got to have some uh, steamed broccoli and some caramel. Everything I wanted to stitch next. What did it have? Steamed broccoli or caramel? So my reindeer do not have any antlers right now, but they will have some shortly. Now this is done on chalkboard, which I got at Pandas Crossing and it's 28 count, I think. Yes, it is. And yet again, it's not ironed. And I got three of the reindeer and Let's see. There we go. So you can see my wrinkles. There we go. And got the little leads and the little white snow and the little backs on the reindeer. But hopefully they'll get some antlers and, and uh, the little halter collar things. But this was really, really cute. And I enjoyed doing the snowflakes. Usually I don't like doing snowflakes, but these snowflakes are symmetrical. I'm all about that. And the chalkboard is easier to see, so I can work on this at night. Uh, and it's it's very translucent. Yes. I think this is Fabrics by Stephanie. I really do. Um, <clears throat> but I got this at Pandas Crossing in Malden, South Carolina. <clears throat> okay. So that's all I stitched on except for the um, 12 Days of Christmas whimsy. And... Uh, uh, well, anyway, so then when my girlfriend, Dolores, as you all remember Dolores, she's been on two of my videos, um, she was at the beach, lucky thing, I wish I could have went, but I'm so glad she got to go, but she thought of me, she got me a needle minder, and she knows I love Halloween, and when she gave it to me, she says, now, I hope you don't take this the wrong way. Now, my name is Dorothy. I have a Scottish Terrier, which looks like a Cairn Terrier. So that means all my life, it was like, oh, you're not in Kansas anymore. Where's the wizard? Where's Toto? You know, all this stuff. So it was all about the Wicked Witch. And I have an evil, evil laugh, people say. And she got me this. The witch is in. Let me see. Let's do it like this so you can see it. Is that not too cute? And she said, they only had one at Fire Poppies. And she said, I knew you had to have it. So... 
I love it. This is my favorite needle marker. Yes. Okay. So, um, oh darn, I don't know what that fell out of. Okay. That's the only thing I hate about doing these floss tubes. You drop stuff out of stuff and you don't know what it came out of. Okay. What else did I get? Well, I got this. <clears throat> and y'all, when you see it, you'll know why I got it. Okay. This is a Scotty Dog project bag. This is my second Scotty Dog project bag. Is this not too cute? And it comes from Creative Carol Designs. I was looking on her page because I registered for somebody's giveaway. And I saw this and I'm like, heck, I'm not going to sit around and wait to win that. I've got to have it. So, <laughs> so I ordered this. And her website is uh, Creative Carol Designs at Etsy.com. Dot com Etsy. And I will link that below. But is this not really nice? It's got the vinyl front. Uh, it's got a nice handle. It's very well made. The corners are reinforced. And she's got a logo on it. And it's got the little zipper pull. Just love it. So thank you. And she always puts a nice little note. And I heard that from like, um, I want to say, hmm, don't remember now. But anyway, it she thanked me for choosing her uh, shop for my project bag and thanks me, thanked me for the purchase and said she hoped I loved it and to send her email if I had questions. And uh, I thought that was very sweet. It's Creative Carol Designs. And... Uh, Yes, thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. No wonder everybody mentions you so much. You just have, I mean, it's just great workmanship. I mean, I would so lose my patience over this. So lose my patience. Mm, yes. All right. So then, what did I get? Okay. Um, This is old haul, but I've had this for a while. This is Kimber Bell Embellishments, and it's three different twine cups. Colors I got from Fat Quarter Shop a while back. I just thought that was really cute. I think it was on flash sale. And so I thought, hmm, I could be using that for Christmas and stuff and Halloween. I'll just be getting that. So I did. And it was a very good deal. Very good deal. All right. Next, I got, um, I also had my friend pick me up a piece of fabric that I saw at Fire Poppies. And this is called... Yeah, it is. Well, shoot. Did it just come? Yeah, it did. It just went in the floor. Why do I always do that? Hmm. Well, we'll take care of that. Okay. See, when you have back surgery, you have to have a grabber. So, because you can't. And then you drop your grabber. <laughs> oh, well, we won't be picking up anything else. This one's called Up in the Attic 32 Count Linen. And I got a fat quarter. And that's my fat. Oh, wait. Let me see. Hang on. Hang on. I should have already pinned this on. I know I have a friend that'll be saying, Dottie, 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 why didn't you do that different? Okay. Ooh. Okay. And this is it. I think that's just going to be really, really cute for just lots of different things. So I'm excited. And there's some hanging over here, too. So nice big piece. And it's a good color. It kind of reminds me of gingerbread. But it's called Up in the Attic. And it doesn't say who it's by. It just is 32 count linen. So, I do not know. But, uh, they do give quick service. And they give a Charleston chew with their orders. So, and that's always good. Okay. So, that's about it for the haul this week. It's enough, isn't it? I had plenty. Okay, now, I did get some floss, though. Some colors that I couldn't find anywhere else. And I had to have my steamed broccoli and my caramel. Hmm, yes, I did. So, um, what am I going to do? Hmm, well, I'm going to work some more on my Jingle Jolly Joy. I'm going to work some more on the Life is Short Drink the Eggnog. Hopefully, I'll work some more on Santa Claus is Coming into All a Good Night. And then, I'm going to pick up my, I'm going to do something not Christmas. I want to work on my little bee thing that I got from Southern Stitchers Company because 
I was so excited about starting it. And then I got to look and I thought, oh my gosh, today's Saturday. I need to make Frost Tube. But the little women sale that I'm doing with Stitching Book Club is going to be coming out with another piece very soon. When is that? Yep, July 23rd, I think it is. Well, discussion day is the 24th. But this is part two. This is what I've got. And I'm still on the letters because I have done nothing else. I saw somebody else that was doing it. And she at least had the words Little Women and the Feather. Um, but I need to put mine like in a binder or something because, yeah, it's just disorganized. And I don't see where it says um, when the next one's coming out. I know I have it. I've got starting instructions. It's on 28 count um, mystery linen again. It's some kind of Lugana I had. But yeah, I think the next pattern's coming out on the 23rd of July, which is right around the corner. So I better get myself busy and. Um, start working on it. So, where is my progress? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I'll show you how much or how little I have done. And that's more like it. You know, everybody that knows me, it's like, oh, yeah, you need to do more. But, you know, I have to do all of the things. And yet again, I have my threaded needle ready to go. See, I just have just a little bit of the, of the letters for little but I have been reading the book, and it's it's really good. It's been a long time since I've read it. This is two strands over two. And uh, Kristen Ashley designed this pattern from Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. So if you want to get the pattern and join in the sale, um, you need to go to Etsy, her Etsy shop at Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. And the patterns are PDF, and you just pick your cloth, and you pick your uh, DMC floss, and off you go. And this is just so, so cute. This is going to go in my craft room, probably, because I just really like it. Or it may go in my bedroom. I don't know. It just depends what else is on the pattern. So I'm, I'm planning on stitching on that. And then um, I'm sure I'll pick up something else or not. Who knows? But um, I've just really, really enjoyed spending some time with y'all and uh, I apologize for my disorganization today, but yeah, it's been a day, but I've had a good day and it's, it's been fun. Every day's getting better and, and, um, it's getting easier to move around. And I just really, really appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much. Be sure and tell all your friends to watch and be sure and like and subscribe my to my video. And, um, when we hit the big 500, we will get, have a giveaway and I've, I've been saving up some goodies that people have given me and I have some goodies and uh, we'll just see what we've got. I just hadn't been doing any giveaways lately because I just didn't know if I was going to be, well, I couldn't drive for one. And I didn't want to ask somebody, oh, you go to the mailbox or the post office and mail this stuff for me as much as people hate going to the post office these days. But anyway, um, y'all have a blessed day and happy stitching. And Stryker and Winston said hello too. Bye-bye.